many times did the Lord Jesus Christ appear in the Old Testament? If that seems like an odd question, hang on, because actually he appeared a lot in the Old Testament. Hi, my name is Bob Wilkin. I'm the executive director of Grace Evangelical Society, and I've got some great news for you today. The answer to how often the Lord Jesus appeared is we know from Scripture of scores of people who met the Lord Jesus Christ between the time of Adam and Eve all the way down to 400 BC in the end of the Old Testament canon. And we'll talk about some of those today. You know, I've never met the Lord Jesus Christ face to face. I've never yet talked to Him. I don't know anybody that's met Him or talked with Him. And it's 2,000 years since anybody has met the Lord Jesus Christ or spoken with Him. But that wasn't true during the Old Testament. I take an early date for the creation, so I'd say Adam and Eve were created around 4200 BC, plus or minus 50 years. And let's just do a quick survey of people who met the Lord Jesus Christ. And remember John 1.18 John tells us that no one has seen God at any time, but His only begotten Son, He has revealed Him. So every Old Testament appearance of God, called a theophany, is really an appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ, called a Christophany. Well, the first example would be Adam and Eve in the garden, Genesis 3.8, that He used to walk with them in the garden in the cool of the day. After they fell, He met with them, and He judged them face-to-face -face encounter. In fact, he evangelized them in Genesis 3.15, and I believe that's when they came to faith. Uh, then, of course, their son Cain. Uh, around that time, maybe 4100 B.C., uh, before Cain killed Abel, the Lord challenged him to bring his anger under control, and when he did not, he killed his brother Abel, and after that, the Lord met with him face-to-face -face and judged him. Uh, after uh, Cain, we had uh, Noah around 2400 B.C. We know that Noah found grace with the Lord, and the Lord met with him and told him that he was going to destroy the earth and told him to build an ark. And so Noah preached righteousness for 120 years and built that uh, ark. We don't know exactly when Job was, but it was around 2100 B.C., before, slightly before Abraham. And Job, were told in the book, met with the Lord face to face and spoke with the Lord in a direct contact. And he said in Job 19, I know that my Redeemer lives and I will walk with him in the earth in my flesh. So Job had met the Lord and he knew he was going to be resurrected and in the kingdom forever. Uh, around 2000 BC, there were several people who met the Lord face to face. Abraham, on many occasions, Genesis 12, Genesis 15, when he came to faith, Genesis 17, Genesis 18, before the Lord destroys Sodom and Gomorrah, Genesis 22, when he offers up Isaac on Mount Moriah, and that, by the way, is when Isaac also uh, meets him. Uh, also, Hagar meets uh, the Lord. Uh, and the Lord speaks to her uh, directly. Abimelech, uh, the king Abimelech, he meets with the Lord and the Lord speaks with him. All that around 2000 BC. Then 1900 BC, Rebecca meets with the Lord and the Lord speaks with Rebecca. Around 1800, uh, Jacob meets the Lord. First, he in Genesis 28, he has this vision of the ladder called Jacob's Ladder, the ladder between heaven and earth. And then in Genesis uh, chapter uh, 32, he actually wrestles with God. And so he is with God face to face. Uh, around 1400 BC, Moses meets with the Lord on many, many, many occasions. He meets with him at the burning bush. He meets with him on Mount Sinai when the Lord Jesus writes the Ten Commandments with his finger. He also meets with him repeatedly in the tabernacle, and after he would meet with him, his face would shine. 2 Corinthians 4 talks about this. 
Uh, Balaam and his donkey was at this time frame around 1400 BC. And they meet the Lord uh, as the angel of the Lord is standing in the path and would have taken Balaam's life, but for the donkey saving his life. And also right around this time, Joshua, when he, uh, in Joshua chapter 3, meets the Lord face to face as part of the conquest, and the Lord speaks with him. Uh, then around 1150 BC, during the time of the judges, Gideon meets the Lord face to face. And around 1100, Manoah, the father of Samson, meets the Lord face to face. Around 740 BC, Isaiah meets the Lord. And remember in Isaiah 6, he says, I saw the Lord high and lifted up, and that he was a man of unclean lips, he certainly saw the Lord. And around 580, Ezekiel saw the Lord on multiple occasions. And then somewhere around 570, 560, in Daniel chapter 3, the three men in the fiery furnace met the Lord Jesus Christ face to face in the furnace with them. There was a fourth man in the furnace, and he was there with them in their trial, in their, in their difficulty. All of this means that there was a witness about the Messiah that went out from Adam and Eve at least until 400 B.C. They told their children, their grandchildren, their great-grandchildren. They in turn told other people. And the, the message went out far and wide that God had come to earth and God had met with people. And not only did they have the prophets who were telling them that if you believe in the coming Messiah, you're justified, you have everlasting life, you'll be in the kingdom, but they had the Lord Jesus Christ himself appearing and bringing this message. Remember, Jesus said, John 8, 56, Abraham rejoiced to see my day. The author of Hebrews in Hebrews 11 tells us of these Old Testament saints who not only knew they were going to be resurrected and be in the kingdom, but they believed in eternal rewards, and they were seeking eternal rewards. Uh, and so the Old Testament saints were not people who had no witness of the Messiah. They had much in the way of witness and knowledge about the Lord Jesus Christ. They maybe didn't know his name was Yeshua, we're not told. But what we do know is that many people had met him, scores of people, at least reported, probably thousands met him, and most likely not a single generation went by without the Lord Jesus Christ appearing to someone. The Damascus Road experience that the Apostle Paul, then Saul of Tarsus had, is not unique. It occurred many times before Jesus' incarnation. If you liked what you heard today, click the red subscribe button at the bottom of the page and be sure to check in each Monday to get a new video that we come out with that is meant to encourage you and help you in your walk with Christ. Remember, keep grace in focus.